shoot the shoot is definitely an episode. It's balls. It's balls. Now you can hear the new sound effect that I just put on my soundboard. You look disappointed. I look disappointed? I think that's just my face. Alrighty. Let's give it up. Let's give it up, everybody. You made it. You made it. You 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 did it. All right. You made it. You you took the time out of your day to show up. And that's what me that's what that's what what's that's what it's really all about. Okay? We can do this, man. Just a little bit well, a little bit more. Sorry, I sorry, I did a workout today and uh wasn't today. Also, it was yesterday. Just lied. Just lied. I don't I heard wow. Okay, that's weird. Um it was yesterday. Why did uh I did a workout yesterday and it's been in my brain. Um, so yeah, did I say that I did a workout yesterday? I did like a, I don't know. <laughs> Trying to, I did a workout, okay? It was like a biking thing. It was like a YouTube video where it was like, I have a bike, I have like an exercise bike in my house and um, that I fucking never use. And I was like, I should use this. So I used it and I put on this like YouTube girl. She did like a spin class thing. And the whole time she was like, you, you know what? You showed up. You did it. You made it. You're here. Okay? And that's what really matters. And honestly, dude, made me feel pretty good. All right? So that's that was me, you know, sort of stealing that, but applying it to the podcast. Every five minutes, I'm going to check in and be like, you guys got it. Just another half hour of this podcast. You got it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You got it. Three, two, one, and push it. Pedal really hard. Pedal your fucking dick off. Pedal till your dick falls off. It was a weird video that I watched. But welcome back to the podcast. This is episode 214, I believe. Um, Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for showing up. Um, We got a freaking coffee here, dude. Yeah, but back to the back to the, uh, the working out thing. I'm trying to... I'm like... I'm like gaining weight. Um... Which is, you know, it's fine. I know it's a thing that um, is normal. It happens. You know, there's no shame in, in gaining some weight, right? It's a total normal thing, you know. Um, but I'm like, the heaviest I've been, and I can like see it in my face a little bit. I'm like, there is one shot. I don't even know. I just had like a gnarly double chin going on. And I was like, man, it's gone a little too far, you know. I... Because, like, I'm not that unhealthy. I think I eat fine, you know? And, again, it's fine that I'm fucking gaining weight. I don't fucking care. But I'm also noticing in, like, just... I'm out of breath easier and quicker. And I just need to get back to, like, just fucking being in shape. But at the same time, it's fucking winter, and I didn't want to do... I didn't want to move at all for like at all, like for the last six months. So um, I'm hoping Australia and the Australia climate, the Australian climate will reinvigorate me and sort of get me outside and moving and make me feel good again because I'm excited. And we go there pretty soon, man. We go there uh, in like a week and a half. Long flight. Long fucking flight, dude. But hopefully I sleep the whole time. Um, I'm actually bringing a baseball bat onto the plane with me. Um, a lot of people use like Benadryl or like NyQuil, you know, Percocets or some crazy shit to knock them out on planes. Me? I'm bringing a baseball bat. I'm going to go dunk. I'm going to go bunk. I'll be out cold for fucking 15 hours, or long, however long that flight is, you know. Um, but excited, man. Pretty much... The only tickets that are left, there's like a few tickets left in Christchurch and a couple tickets left in Adelaide. So if you guys are listening and you want to come to the shows, come support the fellas, uh, come on out, man. Super excited. Um, also put out some new merch, dude. Put out some new merch on, uh, fucking what day was it? Fr- last Friday? Yeah, put out new merch last Friday. Fucking sold out, dude. Fucking sold out, no problem. Oh, man. I forget to keep... I always forget to fucking add 
sounds on here, dude. I was going to add a cash register sound, but they sold out. Cha-ching! <laughs> um, not all of them sold out. Uh, three of the... Sh- at the time of recording this, three out of the four t-shirt designs are completely sold out. Most sizes of the other t-shirts sold out. And I think just a few sizes of the hoodies are sold out. But, yo, thanks, thank you so much to everyone who... Uh, supported the the merch drop um that was like the, the best one we ever had people were the response was fucking awesome so you know shout out isaac the person who designed the merch shout out jenna took all the pictures and videos for the for the merch promo um we got a restock we got a restock coming okay probably monday probably the next probably next monday because that's when my new video comes out so that'll and there's a merch promo at the beginning of the video because I filmed it, and then the merch sold out. So I have to fucking restock it. Um, also, sorry, one more thing. One more fucking self-plug promo type bullshit before we head into the topical stuff. Um, I have a Patreon for this podcast. It is called The Very Really Good Patreon. Obviously, you go to patreon.com slash very really good or click the link in the description. Um... Support the pod, man. We get bonus episodes. I'm recording one after this main episode. I'm. It's going to be a weird episode. It's going to be a weird. Uh, it's definitely going to be a weird bonus episode where um, I'm. I got a really weird TikTok as an ad. And it's like 10 minutes long. It's fucking it's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. And it makes no sense. And we're going to go through the whole thing and talk about it because. Um, it's crazy. So that's going to be the bonus episode. going to be lots of fun. So go check it out if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, man. Okay, dude. Let's get into this bullshit, huh? Oh, I heard that, uh, dude, Twitter. Twitter, man. So Twitter is apparently, um, also, yo, we got Space Jam playing on the TV. It is your jam to your jam on the space jam. All right. Oh, yeah, about Australia as well. Uh, I might not be doing so many podcasts while I'm away. It might be a little infrequent, and I might not, and I will not have a main channel video until like late April. There's going to be come beginning of April and end of April for main channel videos. Um, sorry. A couple of years ago, I'd be freaking out and stressing, but you know what? I feel okay about it. And I got a new laptop. It's so big. Okay. So, yeah, we got some weird shit going on with Twitter, dude. Um, Elon Musk says only verified users will show up in Twitter's recommendation feed in further shakeup. Um... So I didn't realize, I feel like I've been using the For You Twitter page, like the For You side of it for the, like ever since they introduced it. And I just didn't know that I, because I would see tweets from people I don't follow. And it was happening a lot more to my tweets as well. Um, I had a tweet. Someone tweeted that saying folks is beta. So I quote tweeted and I was like, okay, fuck you. As a reference to my videos, I say, folks, you know, and uh, I guess that it got like, you know, a good amount of likes enough where it like started pushing to people who are not in my circle, like internet, like internet, you know, community, right? Or even just like that side of where I I operate. Um, So I would get like DMs from people being like, who, who got the tweet on their page, but also didn't understand like, they're so, like, not savvy with, like, tech, where they thought I was just saying fuck you to them. So I would get, like, weird DMs from, like, 60-year-old women that were like, why the fuck did you say that to me? <laughs> and it's like, yo, I didn't. Like, I had, like, 10 of them in one day being like, okay, fuck you then. You're going to go to hell for using that language. And it's like, wait, I don't know. So Twitter's already fucked. It's already a shit show. But now they're making it so that, like, well, one, they're getting rid of, like, celebrity, like, legacy 
verified check. So I think I'm going to lose my blue check. Um, which sucks. Do I not have the aw sound on here? Bro, I got to figure this shit out, man. Okay, well, I'm going to lose my blue check. Uh, that works, okay? Or... Oh, God! Yeah. that's That was me when I found out I'm going to lose my blue check. Oh, God! Going to lose it, man. Because they're making it so the only way you can have a blue check is if you pay for it. And over my dead body, I will not pay for Twitter to get a blue check, okay? That is the lamest shit ever, all right? That's so embarrassing. Just so you guys know, I paid for Twitter. So. <laughs> so now they're making it so that only verified users will show up in Twitter's recommendation, which is like, okay, so if you want people to find you and you, through your content, you have to pay for it, which is fucked. They're also making it so the only way you can vote in polls is if you're paying for Twitter, which is also fucked. Like, I, it's so confusing because isn't Elon Musk supposed to be this guy who's, like, he was into, like, crypto and all that shit, which, all, which is all about, like, decentralizing, you know, like, people owning it, you know? A fr- like, free speech is something he's all about. But it's not free speech. It's fucking $5 a month speech, man. I don't understand, like, I, every announcement I see about what the new feature of Twitter is going to be, it's, like, it's like he's ha- it's like Elon Musk is in a terrible idea competition, but his opponent is- and he has no opponents. It's just him. He just sits in a room all day and he's like, "What's the worst idea I could have for Twitter?" Okay, yeah, you have to to verify your account. You have to send a dick pic to Twitter, and it matches the cockpit that we have on file for you. And if it matches up, then you can access your account if you forget your password. All right? That's a good idea. Musk claims the move is the only realistic way to address advanced AI bot swarms taking over. Bullshit, dude. Bullshit, man. You just want people to spend their money so they can get recommended into the thing because you bought Twitter for 44 billion and now it's worth 20 billion you literally cut your investment in half like a fucking idiot why did you buy it in the first place you're dumb so that sucks man i'm not going to be verified anymore but you know what i that feels that's good you know fuck that shit but if they take away my Instagram one, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be fuming. Dude, it sucks too because the Twitter one. I only got Twitter verified on Twitter because of Vine. Because Vine was on my Twitter, and there was like this fucking backdoor thing that they could do to be like, "Yo, you're a Viner." All right, we'll hit you. We'll we'll slap you with a fucking badge. You know, those are the days, man. I remember it was so funny, dude. I remember the day I got verified. I was like, this is it. I can probably quit my job like tomorrow. And uh, I didn't because nothing changed. <laughs> it was just a fucking blue check on my thing. Um, but that's, what, that's what it's all about, man. Um, speaking of internet news, man, fucking, uh, did you guys see those, that, uh, those fucking TikTok hearings, man. Is that ha- is that actually happening? Is TikTok going to get banned? I sure hope not. I um, God, this laptop's too big. Um, dude, the videos that I saw, the TikToks I saw of the the hearing, this fu- the poor guy, that poor guy who was who was fucking testifying, the CEO of TikTok. Guy's a fucking beauty, by by the way. He's a he's a beauty, like so patient, um, and like all the people in Congress were like, I guess they want to ban TikTok because they think it's like a Chinese spy app. C- 
because you know if you're a US Congress if you're in the US Congress you're just a full on conspiracy theorist now that's all you get paid to do really is to be like so did uh, uh so did Bigfoot big so did Bigfoot build the pyramids yes or no did Bigfoot build the pyramids and how did he do it yes or no and if you say no I'm not going to believe you no they didn't I don't believe you. <laughs> Literally, that's what it was, dude. It was just Congress people being like, dude, there was one where this guy was like, uh, can, dude, it's like, can TikTok uh, connect to Wi-Fi? And the guy was like, yeah, if you, if you want it to connect to Wi-Fi, because it's an app, it can connect to Wi-Fi. And then he was like, so in that case, can that does that mean TikTok can talk to other things connected to the same Wi-Fi? And he was like, "No, obviously not, man." It was so crazy, man. And then this one fucking girl, she uh, she was like, "So you you think TikTok is like, um, I guess I could just pull these up." The the one girl was like. So you you think that TikTok is like you're supposed to like it's all about safety, right? Um and he was like, Well yeah, of course. And then they pulled up this fucking TikTok of that someone made saying that they were gonna like it was a video of a gun, like shooting a bunch of times and they were like me at the TikTok Congress hearing. Which is f- objectively funny. But it's just so interesting that like that's when they care about gun safety, you know, and gun and uh, and the dangers of, uh, of handguns is when it is a direct threat to them. But when it's like, you know, everyone else and children in schools, then it's like, you know, who knows? All right, TikTok Congress. Let's pull some of these up, dude. This episode of Very Really Good is sponsored by ZocDoc. Folks, I know what it's like to let your mind run wild when it really doesn't have to, especially when it comes to your health. When a health problem pops up out of nowhere, you know, you're you're freaking out in your mind, you're rushing to even text your group chat to see if your friends know anything about it. And let me tell you, if your friends are anything like mine, you are not gonna get quality medical advice from your group chat. Ligma. Ligma, what you ask? Ligma balls but you can find it from a doctor on ZocDoc. Thousands of medical professionals on ZocDoc are there to help you. They listen like a friend and give you the expert care that you need. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. When you're not feeling your best and you're just trying to hold it all together, finding great care shouldn't take up all your energy. That's where ZocDoc comes in. Using their free app that millions of users rely on, you could find the right doctor that meets your needs and fits your schedule. Book an appointment with a few taps in their app and start feeling better faster with ZocDoc. Just go to ZocDoc.com slash very, really good and download the ZocDoc app for free. Yeah, free. And then find and book a top rated doctor today. Yeah, today, because many doctors are available within 24 hours. Again, that's Z-O-C-D-O-C slash very, really good. And hey, third time's a charm, ZocDoc.com slash very, really good. All right, thanks again to ZocDoc for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. I hope you guys check them out because it's super important to feel comfortable uh, with your doctor and, uh, you know, it's free, dude. Check them out. It also helps out the podcast when you go check out the sponsor. So everybody wins here, dude. All right, thank you so much. Back to the pod. Top moments from the TikTok area. This is Shoot, does, about, t- does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Has ByteDance spied on American citizens? I don't think that spying is the right way to describe it. The only face data that you will get that we collect is... Shoot, does TikTok... Hold on, I need to find some... Hold on. Wi-Fi network. Tagged with... Shoot, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I, I'm sorry, I may not understand the. So if I have <laughs> a TikTok app on my phone and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network, does TikTok access that network? It will have to to get access <laughs> the network to get connections to the internet. If, if that's the question, is it possible then that it could access other devices on that home Wi-Fi network? Congressman, we do not do anything that is beyond any industry norms. <laughs> um, I believe the answer to your dude, that man is better than me. I'll say that. If that was me in the chair, I'd be like, 
yeah, man. Are you fucking stupid? It's an app. That that shows you videos, dude. Of course, it connects to Wi-Fi. That's what phones do. <laughs> Yo. That's insane, man. That's like if there was like a... Uh, that's like if they're trying to like ban the radio. And then the guy's like, so... Does this radio... How do these radio waves get inside of my car? Who's putting them there? It's like, well, it's like this whole system. It's like we have these big radio towers and they send out, you know, these waves and, you know, your car, you know, receives them, you know, it's like a whole thing. And he's like, well, I'm not, I can't see the band performing. So how can I hear them? Inside of my little, inside of my car. How do they fit in my radio? How does the whole band fit in my radio? Because I know, yeah, because I know Bruce Springsteen's on tour right now. You can't tell me he's playing a little song in my car. In my dashboard. You can't tell me dashboard confessionals playing him. Like he's listening to that. Um, dude, I just don't get how they get the dumbest people who've never heard of like who, like, don't even know what TikTok is. Like, all they think it is is, like, an app. What, literally, what they think TikTok, what TikTok is, is that is an app that when you open it and it goes, spying now, we're spying on you. And it's just like a, a fucking scanner that scans your whole face. And it's like, downloading face data. And it, like, moves your phone down. It's like, downloading cock data. Sending to Twitter for two-factor, <laughs> for, for two-factor authentication. And Elon's like, ah, it's working. My plan is perfect. Fucking idiots, bro. Contact with Chinese Communist Party Secretary, Mr. Zhang Fuping, who is your boss at ByteDance, correct? No. 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 He's neither my boss, nor do we have frequent contact. But you have regular contact with ByteDance. Uh, with uh, the CEO of ByteDance. Who is... Mr. Zhang Fuping is the editor-in-chief. He's not. My colleague, Representative Burgess, uh, a few minutes ago exposed that TikTok and ByteDance share legal teams. You confirmed this, correct? Our general counsel is uh, an American uh, lawyer, veteran of Microsoft. Also, my colleague... like, they're not even letting him fucking talk, dude. I would have... Man. You gotta be so... I do not have the patience for that, dude. I am not... I don't even care. I wouldn't even try. Like, I know everything's at stake. I know, like, the entirety of TikTok and the company is at stake. But if I was them, I, I would not be able to hold together. I am I am way too immature and way, and way too impatient. I don't like any fucking let me talk, okay? Representative Lada confirmed that your parent company, ByteDance, currently can access user data. Yes? Let's, uh, we have to be yes. more specific. Um, yes. After- She's just answering for him. The you Project say, Texas? No. I'm not asking after Project Texas. I'm asking now. Yes. Some user data is. I want to ask you, as I understand it, there's a sister app in China, Doikin. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm butchering the, the pronunciation. Do they have these same things over there? Do they have these kind of challenges uh, in Congress, China? C- Congressman, I'm really glad. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. They're really upset about um, kids like dying when they do the. If they did like a cinnamon challenge or oh wait I don't know if it was that <laughs> I don't know can you die from a cinnamon challenge that'd be fucking crazy that'd be the I'm sorry that'd be the lamest way to go for sure fuck yeah cause of death cinnamon challenge I should look this up before I fucking make fun of it but I don't want to um. Yeah, that would that would be the shittiest way to go. Imagine like at the funeral too, like the food they have like cinnamon rolls too. That'd be fucked. Just cry all over again. Um, Congressman, um, hey, do you hear what is what is a phone? What is an iPhone? It's literally the whole thing. They don't fuck, dude. I don't get it, man. 
America, you guys are idiots. Okay? People in charge are idiots. Okay, what was I saying? Well, this that ties into what I was saying. Um, yeah, people, the, they were upset that, like, a couple kids died from doing some fucking crazy challenge on TikTok. Um, and he was asking if they have that problem in China. Probably not, because people in America are, you know. Um, but it's like, you're... You're mad about that? You're mad about those kids dying? Congress? You're upset about kids dying that way, but not the way that they most commonly die? You know? Guns? So, like, what... You want to ban a fucking app that is like... Sure, there's bad things about it, but at the end of the day, it's like... You know, I've there's kids on there who are like so creative and so funny and so talented, you know, like young people who are fucking killing it. And it's like a great way for people to get and just to just like make stuff and share their life and stuff and their stories. And you want to ban that, but at the same time you want to give more money to police officers and you want to not instruct sorry, not Enforce strict gun laws. Like, what the... Like... Like, there was literally a fucking school shooting, like, yesterday, man. And you're having a fucking hearing about an app where people dance. Okay, dude. Like, I'll fucking never get it. Like, that, I'll fucking never understand. I, uh, it's fucking, I don't know. I don't fucking get it, man. Idiots down there, dude. That's why I'm going to Australia, all right? That's where it's at, all right? I did my shows in America. I'm done, <laughs> okay? I'm all good, all right? Australia, Canada, other places, let's, let's, let's rock and roll, all right? But fuck, man. America's scary, dude. Um... Okay, let's change the subject, all right? Because holy shit, that is, that is bleak. Also, man, nothing like a fucking coffee at 9 p.m. That'll really... Give you a headache. Yeah, and I would like to fucking connect to Wi-Fi. Fucking stupid, man. Hey, there's this thing that you were connected to. Do you want to do that? Yeah, of course, man. That's what I was fucking doing this whole time. Okay. So last week, last week on the podcast, we did, um, I talked about how I went to the office experience and uh, how it was like the most millennial thing ever. And, um, you know, I was talking about this with Jenna and she came up with a great idea. Um, she told me that I wish to do a, a millennial tier list, a tier list of millennial things. And cause I, I do some of these things. Okay. Cause I am a millennial. I can't help it, dude. I can't fucking help it. It's part of me. Um, this is just what, this is what, this, this is me. All right. This is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. Gonna let the light shine on me. Uh, now I'm friggin' adulting. Don't talk to me before I've had my friggin' Starbucks secret menu drink. This is me. So, we're gonna do a millennial tier list. I made one. Um, and here we go. This, we got it right here. So starting off with Potterheads. Okay. Um, talked about this, this in the last episode. I know there's some Gen Z Potterheads as well, obviously, but like millennials fucking take it way too far as we do. Um, you know, they'll put fucking Hufflepuff in their bio or some bullshit, you know, 
Raise your wands. Shut up. Ah, oh, my dad died. I'm raising my wand. Okay, man. Uh... Fucking, yeah, I get, hey, barkeep, hey, barkeep, one butterbeer, stat. <laughs> All right, don't make me a vada kedavra. Ah, less, I love my keys in my car. Alohamara. Making fun of it? I know all the fucking spells. Because uh, I'm, a, I'm a millennial, okay? So, listen, to me, I think there's, um... I think my camera just fucking turned off, so give me one goddamn second. What's next? Fucking space peanut butter. <laughs> to me, Potterheads are a, they're on a spectrum, right? They're on a spectrum, Patronum. <laughs> they're on a spectrum, Patronum. Bring my body back. So they're on a spectrum, right? You could be like a casual Potterhead, you know. Potterhead, I hardly know her head. Or you could be like a hardcore one who wears like a cloak and shit. They have like a wand, you know. They have their like, their 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 house, their Hogwarts house and their Twitter bio and shit. You know, they read the books, dude. Um, So for this one, I'm, I'm, I'm putting Potterheads as like, this one represents the fucking gnarly ones, okay? Like the ones that have wands shoved up their dick holes all the time. So I think, I think like hardcore Potterheads, not D tier, because that's like that's too mean. Um, and like I kind of, you know, I I like Harry, I like Harry Potter, you know, to an extent. So I'm putting them at C tier, okay? Potterheads, Potterhead millennials are C, C tier millennials, okay? Um, so this next one, I got a, it says it's a picture that says "adulting, please wait." It's like a loading bar. So this one, I thought uh, the millennials who use like all the the lingo, like the millennial lingo, like unironically, you know, if they're like, "but first coffee," <laughs> or uh, "oh, who's um, who's this little heckin' pupper?" you know, or "who's this heckin' doggo?" This freaking doggo. Or, you know, adulting. All that shit, you know, the, the, the millennial lingo. And I'll be honest with you, when someone uses those words in front of me unironically, um, I usually have to leave the room. Like, it, I'm, it's, a pro, it's a fucking problem. And I know it's just like bandwagoning because like I didn't really know it was an issue before I saw it on the internet and people complaining about it. But I don't care, okay? Because now that I know what it is, it's bad. So it's going to go D tier, all right? If you say adulting, dude, fuck that shit. Tumblr, all right. This next one is like millennials who still use Tumblr, like a blog. They write like blog posts, you know, or like poetry on there. You were the sun, but I had, but I, but I left my sunglasses at home, and it's in like italics, sunglasses in in italics it has like a million notes. Oh my god, this! <laughs> you are the sun. I fucking couldn't look at you because I have my sunglasses at home, and I, and I didn't put sunscreen on. <laughs> Worst poem ever. <laughs> a million notes. Um. But, you know, Tumblr, I feel bad. I mean, it's just like, it's easy to rag on. But you know what? There's some good shit on there, right? There's some funny stuff. And I used Tumblr a lot when I was a teen. So, you know what? It's going to go B tier, all right? Um, okay, next up we got, this is like a famous like Instagram dog. So, this was for millennials who... Uh, have Instagram accounts for their dogs. And listen, okay? There is an account for Kiwi, okay? There is. It's on Instagram. It's Kiwi Allard Connor. But we don't run that, okay? That is a Kiwi fan account that we are fans of, okay? Because they do great work. And we love our little dog, 
All right, we love Kiwi to death. We love him so much. Okay, so I'm, to me, that doesn't count because that is a fan account for our dog, okay? That is not us posting Kiwi being like, good morning, everybody. My my dad just took me piss and shit and he gave me breakfast. How, what are you guys up to today? Like, that's fucked. That's cringe as fuck. I hate that stuff. Like, if it, like they... Like, if they pretend like they they are the ones using Instagram. What's that? What's that fucking drill tweet? (laughs) Yeah, that drill tweet. (laughs) I think if dogs could talk, they would have the most racist opinions in the world. Stuff that just blows normal human racism out of the water. (laughs) Yeah, you don't want... You do not want dogs to have access to to Instagram. Um... So this is going D tier, dude. Fuck that shit. I hate that. Um, I'm all for famous dogs. You know, they're cute. But, you know, if it's like, if they're not famous, it's weird. You know, it's like cringe. Um, Okay, this next one. MLM. Multi-level marketing. People who kind of fucked up in high school and college and kind of got swindled into thinking that they could make a bunch of money through an MLM. Um, And, you know, this is bad. This is like fucking, you know, it's not always their fault. You know, people who are in like a really tough place in their life and then they don't know what to, uh, you know, they don't know how to get out of it and they're pretty desperate. So they go to MLM. So, um, I feel bad putting anywhere else other than D, but I kind of, I have to, but I, I feel bad for the people who do it, but you know, um, that, that sucks. This is, I don't think there's going to be, there might be one S tier. I don't know. Or an A tier. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, next I got gender reveals. Okay. Um, this is a very millennial thing. People, uh, they fucking, I don't know. A guy will like inject fucking food coloring into his balls and then get him smashed with a sl- <laughs> smash with a, he'll put his balls on a fucking tree stump get some guy with a sledgehammer to smash his nuts open and whatever color fucking squirts out that's the that's the gender of the child it's like it's pink it's a girl it's like oh wait no that's blood fuck I don't, it's blood and semen mixed together to be pink i don't <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Could be anything. Can we do again? Can we go again? And he's like, no. Now I can't have any more kids. Because you smashed, you smashed me balls. Okay. Um, yeah. Gender reveals are fucking weird to celebrate, you know. And the dude, the videos of the guys who are like, it's not a guy. I'm going to kill myself. Like, it's so crazy, dude. So these are fucking D tier as well. Gender reveals, who fucking cares, man? It's a baby. Who cares? You know? Looks like he's gonna be wearing blue clothes. Okay. That's great, man. We're all very happy. Listen, if you wanna, you know, share the gender whenever you get it, fucking cool. But the extravagant ways, weird. That's what we're talking about, all right? Okay, next up, this picture represents people who end up marrying someone from their high school, but this person that they marry from high school is someone that they never fucking talked to in high school. This happens all the time, especially in, like, small towns. You'll go home for fucking Thanksgiving or some shit or Christmas, and you'll, or you'll see on Facebook that, like, your old friend married, like, like, Jessica, and you're like, what, what? You guys fucking never talked to each other in high school or ever. You guys fucking were on the opposite side. You never interacted and you're married to each other. What happened? You know? So that's weird. That's a very millennial thing that happens. Um, so you know what? I'm going to put that. You know what? I'll do. They'll go A, okay? Because you know what? It is kind of weird, but at the same time, you know, they're finding love and that's great, you know? Um, okay, skinny jeans, dude. 
Next up, we got skinny jeans. That is a painfully millennial thing. Jeans that'll just fucking squeeze you, you know? Jeans that feel like they're a fucking boa constrictor, dude. That are just wrapped around your fucking legs. You take them off it. You take them off at the end of the day. You, you fucking st- dude. The stench, dude. The stench that releases from the from a day's worth of skinny jeans could knock you out. That's how I'm gonna get through my flight to Australia. I'm gonna wear skinny jeans for like two days before. Take them off right before, right when I get on the plane. And the fucking smell of my sweaty button balls will fucking knock me out for fucking 15 hours, dude. Probably longer. I'll be 15 hours there asleep and 15... They'll, uh, it'll be like a, a subway. When you fall asleep on the subway and you go to the last stop and you wake up, you're at the other end, you're like, oh, shit, you know? Um, it'll be like that, but on a plane. So, yeah, stinky balls and skinny jeans, man. Um... I used to be a skinny jeans wearer. Um, I feel like the older I get, the it just not it's not stylish anymore. I also I like being comfortable in my clothes. The older I get, um, you know, I like being cozy, I like being comfortable, sensible, right? So I think skinny jeans. I'll do C tier. Okay, that feels right. Um, next up, we got astrology millennials. Um, honestly, dude, a year ago, two years ago, this should be D tier. But you know what? I'm I'm starting to come around on astrology, dude. I kind of am, you know, because I was like a full on skeptic of anything astrology based, just anything like spiritual. I was very against, um, but I actually started listening to this podcast called Otherworld, and I highly recommend it. It is incredible. It's so good. I love Otherworld. It's so it 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 takes like a very no judgment look at like paranormal things, and um, just from what I've heard on there, and just from real people, the stories that they tell, it's like I don't fucking know anything. You know, I don't know what's going on. I don't know shit. So Australia, I mean, astrology. So Australia could be real. I don't know. I guess I'll find out. Astrology could be real. So you know what? It's controversial, but astrology millennials, S tier. You know what? I support you, okay? Just Taurus things, I guess, you know? Um, And the final one is binge drinking, okay? Um, I feel like, Every new generation, like Gen Z just doesn't drink as much as millennials. That is a fact. Um, You know, they all just do mushrooms, eat hot chip and lie. Um, So I, and you know, I know it's not good. It's not good for you, you know, to, to binge drink. It's really not good. Your drinking is not good for you, you know. I hear I hear red wine is good for you know every couple of days or every every once every week you know for like antioxidants or some bullshit but man that might be a lie, but dude there's nothing like going out with your buddies and having like fucking five or six beers you know that's there truly is nothing like going out with your fucking fellas getting four five six beers and just fucking laughing a bunch you know so. Call me crazy, but I love having a couple of beers with the boys. Uh, a couple of having a beers with the fellas, okay? And I love having some wine with my wife, okay? So you know what? S tier. Everybody, go out and drink way more, all right? And do it. Do it young, okay? Start young, okay? And drink often. I'm kidding. Don't do that. But there's a list, dude. S tier millennials, astrology millennials, and uh, and 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 binge drinking. Okay, A tier, we got the high school sweethearts that never talked in high school. B tier, Tumblr. C, Potterheads and skinny jeans. And D tier, we got millennial slang, Instagram for your dogs, 
MLMs, and gender reveals. Okay? That's the final one. I think that was pretty good. I think that was not bad. Um, Dude, I wanted to do some advice. I don't have time, though. We're at 45. All right, fuck it. Next week. All right, guys. We're at like 40-some. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, If you want to keep this very, really good train going, uh, choo-choo, you can can fucking uh, chug-a-chug-a-choo-choo your way down to the description. Subscribe to the Patreon. And a bonus, a brand new bonus episode along with fucking tons of other ones will be available to you. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna go, uh, do that right now. And, uh, but yeah, you know, like, comment, subscribe, dude. I'm trying to get to 500k, dude. We're, we're, we're inching towards it. We're gonna get there, all right? So subscribe, tell your friends, all that shit. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, man. Peace out.